Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. So today we're going to be looking at a concept called point slope form. So it is common in mathematics that um, whenever you are naming something, especially a uh, kind of base level concept like a lot of these Algebra 1 ones, it's named in one of two ways. It's either named after the guy who invented it or someone attributed it to someone like that. Um, I like to say it's named after some old dead guy. Or it tells you exactly what it does. Okay. So point slope form, I highly doubt there was someone whose last name was point slope. I hope not. That would be unfortunate. Um, so this is telling us exactly what it is. So this is a form of a line that is... Um, directly built off of a point and a slope. And notice it doesn't say a specific type of point like um, slope-intercept form where it talks specifically about the intercepts. This is just a generic point. Okay. So point-slope form looks like this. And sometimes you'll see this without the parentheses around the y's and that's fine. It doesn't change anything. Um, but what this does is my slope as it often is, is written as m, and then this generic point I'm using is going to replace x1 and y1, so the x and y coordinates from this first point, and this normal x and y that don't have a subscript are going to stay the same. So if I have one, say, that's written like this, oops, sorry, got ahead of myself, I need a slope there. All right, uh, x minus something like that. You can actually pull the point and slope that they use to make this out of it pretty quickly. So my slope is just this one half here, and my point okay, is a little tricky, so be careful as you're doing this. Notice it's a negative here, so my x coordinate is minus x1. So when I pull this out, the negative stays, so it's a positive one. So it almost looks like it's flipping the signs here, going from negative one to positive one. Um, and that's because we have that negative in the formula. And similarly over here, I want that negative to stay. So I pull this one out, it stays positive three. So the negative stays where it is. Okay. So this is a um, form with a slope of one half and a point at one three. Okay. Um, or maybe I have one that's written like this. Okay. So my slope here is 2. Okay. Still, even though it's not a fraction, it's still just the number there in front. And my point here is a little trickier, even though it seems like it shouldn't be, because I have an addition sign and it's supposed to be subtraction. So I can think about this as x minus negative 4. I'm kind of pulling apart that uh, fraction. Normally we say when you subtract a negative, it's the same as addition. And I'm kind of doing that backwards. So the number I'm actually pulling out is a negative here. Once again, kind of flipping that sign. So instead of positive 4, it's a negative 4. And then this is a negative 5, so it will be a positive 5 there. So that's, that's how to read this form and what it's trying to tell you. But this is more useful in terms of what if I'm trying to find an equation and have a point and a slope, okay? So let's say we have a slope of two-thirds and a point at 10, 1, okay? So I can use my point slope form to find an equation of this one, um, and I'll show you the way it usually ends, um, which is actually the slope-intercept form, but... We'll get to that too if you haven't seen that yet. So point slope form, I'll write it over here. I'll go ahead and drop those first set of parentheses. Okay. So I'm going to plug my numbers in. So y minus y1, which is the y coordinate from my point, so y minus 1 equals m, which is 2 thirds, x minus x1, which is 10. So this is technically set up. Usually you want to get y by itself. It turns it into that slope-intercept form, which is the one we use most often uh, when we're doing graphing or something like that. So that's where a lot of times we end. So in order to do that, I can distribute my two-thirds here. 
that gives me 2 thirds x minus 20 over 3. Because remember, this is like 10 over 1, so it only goes to the top, not the bottom, so 20 over 3. Then I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So this is a little trickier. Remember, you need, do need a common denominator. So if I'm adding 1, I want that to be 3 over 3, so that because uh, that reduces to 1, and I have those 3s on the bottom. So my final answer then for this one, I don't do anything here, but I have negative 20 plus 3, so minus 17 over 3 as my equation of my line that has a slope of 2 thirds, which it does, and goes through the point 10, 1. So this is a very common um, use, and actually probably the most common use of point-slope form. So we're going to do one more of those and show you how those work. So let's say I have a slope this time of negative 1 half, and it goes to the point 1, 6. Okay. So y minus, uh, actually let's make this negative 6 just so we get to see how it works with negatives. So it's y minus negative 6. You can plug that in directly that way, or if you want to simplify it in this first step, you can. But I'll do that in the next one. And then I have a slope of negative 1 half x minus x1, so x minus 1. Okay. Now I am subtracting a negative, so I can turn that back to plus 6, kind of the opposite of what I did over here. But I do want to distribute that negative 1 half, so negative 1 half x plus 1 half. Subtract that 6 to move it to the other side. I have 1 half minus 6, which is, um, it depends if you want a decimal or a uh, fraction, but uh, if you want a decimal, I know a lot of people are more comfortable with that at this point. So minus 5.5. 5. 5. Um, if you would prefer, you could also write that as minus 11 over 2, and that's fine as well. But those are the same thing. So, okay. So. These are the two main processes. Sometimes you'll have this and you'll try and pull out the slope and a point or sometimes just the slope. And over here um, is when we start with a slope and a point and we use point slope form to try and find the equations. So those are the two most common ones. Definitely this one. So make sure that you're getting some practice on those as well.